Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> to the Marilyn Darling Show, and welcome to uh, uh, an episode of a pen review. For those of you who do not know, one of my favorite songs in the whole world is the Maple Leaf Rag. There I am playing it. Anyway, so I, I saw this on AliExpress, or was it Etsy? I saw it on Etsy, and I said, oh, I love that color, and I love that pen. So I had to buy it. So today we're going to do a review of this pen. We're going to talk about the parts and features of the pen. We're going to do some size comparisons. Provide a writing sample, and then I'm going to tell you what I like and what I don't like about this fountain pen. Hi, Chris. How are you? Are you having a nice day? I hope you're having a nice day. So, let's get into this fountain pen. Let's give it a look over. This is a beautiful red. The cap is very sparkly. And it's got maple, like gold maple leaves all over it. I'm sure they're not real gold maple leaves, but um, on the cap finial there is this uh, embossed maple leaf and the cap band that leads to a clip that is very, very stiff and unusably stiff. So I would not use that. The, the cap tapers up ever so slightly to another cap band that reads, now I'm going to have to scoot you guys way in because I'm not going to be able to see it. It says 1-1 one, one, Hongdian N8 LT LT Limited Hongdian. Okay. The barrel is this very nice, beautiful red chatoyant, dark red chatoyant that tapers down to a cap, uh, a barrel ring, a space for a red, a red band, and another gold ring that, and a faux piston knob to an end to a gold cap. Uh, finial, a gold barrel finial. All right, the pen unscrews in one and about a half turns. Inside of the uh, cap is a plastic liner that goes all the way up, which should support for adequate. Um, closing off of the nib. I don't see any knurling in there to uh, push the cap directly onto the grip section, but there is um, there is like a a very satisfying maybe not maybe not so satisfying, but. All right, let's take a look at this nib. Ah, oh, that nib is gorgeous. This is kind of like a, a rose gold color nib. It's a steel nib. It's got this flowery thing on it <clears throat> with a round breather. It's like a triangular breather hole. Let me see. I'm going to take the light off just for a second. So you guys can see the breather hole. It is kind of like a triangular teardrop shape, which is very interesting. And then it says, since 1997, Hongdian five and then 35. I don't know what those numbers mean. But, all right, and here is a look at the ebonite feed. This does have an ebonite feed. 
and it's part of a nib assembly that is uh, circular and it it um, so when you get the pen the pen comes a little bit off kilter so the nib would be up here so that way you get this dark bit but it's because there's no key that you can pull the nib out and arrange it in any direction that you want it. So I have it so that I can look at the chatoyancy. Because I love to look down at the chatoyancy while I'm writing. So that's one great thing about this pen. When I bought this pen, I thought it was going to be a, a piston filling pen, but it is not. And um, that was slightly disappointing, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. The um, the barrel comes off. It has an O-ring, so there's a very there's kind of a resistance, and then it lets up. So wait, how many? Okay, one, two, three. Four, five, six, six and a quarter turns, which is kind of a lot for a barrel, but what are you going to do? This is a cartridge converter pen, has a nice reinforced nipple, and inside you can see that there is a, a nib housing in there with a a little nipple. I'm gonna try and focus this stupid thing. You can see inside there's a little nipple in there. Alright. <clears throat> this is a nice converter. This little section here comes off for easy cleaning. You can unscrew that and then pull this piston right out, which is really nice. Let's take a look at the barrel. The barrel is a piece of acrylic that has been milled out and it is plastic threads on metal threads. So that may be something to consider. When I bought this pen, <clears throat> I thought it was going to be a piston filling pen. It is not. I totally thought that this was going to be a piston knob. It is not. So when you buy this, this is a cartridge converter pen only, just so you guys know what you're getting yourself into. And uh, the nib assembly does come out for easy cleaning. Okay. I'm going to get all inky today. <laughs> Oh, Chris, your package is... Are you still here? Chris, your package is ready. I'm going to send it out tomorrow. I can't do it today because I'm very busy. But I'll get it out to you tomorrow, and I'll take all of the cards and everything that I have to uh, put out. And I will... But it's all ready to go. I just have to walk down to the post office. I've been so busy. I have this whole... this Half of this week off... And I feel like I've run around like a chicken with my head cut off. Anyway, rambling on. Okay, let's do some... Oh, shit. Let's do some measurements, shall we? Let's do some measurements and some size comparisons. Okay. Today's ink we're going to be using... Is Diamine Poinsettia. Thanks go out to Gary and Kathy Scott for providing this ink for review. Now, it, the, the thing about this is, um, this ink is, um, really, really good match for this pen. And we're going to do a review of the ink after this. 
after this pen review. So, stick around for that. Okay, so now that I have a, a, an empty pen, I can do some measurements. I don't know what happened to my nickel. I had a nickel here. So, a nickel is five grams. For those of you who don't know, this is just your ordinary nickel, 9.3 grams. So it's about seven hundredths of a gram off. So that's 30 grams, 30.8, so almost 31 grams. That makes it six nickels. Just the body alone is 17.8 grams. That's three nickels and a penny. And then just the cap is 12 grams. That's two, two nickels and a penny. All right, um, I think we can put that away. Let's take a look at some measurements. Okay, the pen cap is 137 millimeters. The pen uncapped is 124.6 millimeters. The cap by itself is 153 millimeters. No, I'm sorry, just 53.3 millimeters. Okay. The grip section, uh oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, oops. There we go. Okay, so the cap, I'm sorry, the, the grip section is 11.2 millimeters, and, that, and then it uh, flares up to 11.9 millimeters. So it's not that much of a difference. Uh, the grip section by itself is 22.4 millimeters, and with the threads is 27 millimeters. The barrel is 13.3 millimeters. No, I'm sorry, it's 13.4 millimeters. And then it tapers down to about 12.2 millimeters. This is a number six size nib. This is a fine. Okay, let's do some size comparisons with some different pens. I'm going to go through quite a few. So I'm going to try and do these as quickly as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the pen to the, uh, the place so you can see. Okay, so this is next to a Noodler's Conrad. This is a, I'm sorry, a Noodler's Ahab. This is a Noodler's Triple Tail. This is it next to a Noodler's Conrad. They're it's almost the same height. This is a Noodler's Conrad. This is a Noodler's Charlie Pen. The N8 is longer than a Charlie pen, longer than a Can Write Desire, longer than a Jin ha I'm sorry, a Jane Davenport Mermaid Incredible pen. It's like almost, it is longer than a, 
Conklin, Endless Summer, longer, ever so slightly longer than a Conklin demo. Mm. It's almost exactly the same height as a rainbow. Down here is the pilot Kakuno. It's longer than a Kakuno. Longer than a pilot 78G. It's sh actually shorter than a, a pilot capless pa vanishing point. It's longer than a Jerbon um, pen. Uh, it's not a pocket pen. This is a Pilot Petite One. Hi, Carlos. How are you doing today? It's slightly shorter than a Moon Man T1. This is it next to a Pilot Parallel. It's dwarfed by the Pilot Parallel. This is it next to a Twisby. It's slightly longer than a Twisby Eco. Slightly shorter Slightly shorter than a Twisby 580 Iris. It's shorter, it's longer than a Go. It's almost the same height as a Swipe. This is a a Yurin 401. It's almost the same height as a 401. It's longer than a Jinhao 992. It's almost the same height as a Jinhao 599. This is a Literati desk pen and it's like almost four inches shorter than a literati desk pen. This is a Lombatile 3059. It's shorter than a 059, but it's almost the same height as a Wing Sung 3008. This is a Fugilong 902. It's the same length. It's a slight, it's almost the same length as a 51, a Jinhao 51A. Almost the same height as a X450, X750, and it's slightly shorter than a Jinhao 159. Alright, let's see, let's see. This is a Noodler's Nib Creeper. It's shorter, it's longer than a Nib Creeper. Almost the same height as a Kaigaloo 356. It's a, almost a, a slightly taller than a Jinha, I'm sorry, um, Pilot 912. It's slightly, it's the same height as a Pilot Falcon, the same height as a Lamy Safari. It's slightly shorter than the uh, uh fuck. the um fountain pen revolution jaipur it's almost the same height nope it's shorter than the the himalaya version 2 it's taller than a waterman 12 poc and definitely a waterman 12 This is it next to uh, 
Fountain Pen Revolution Himalaya version 1, almost the same height. And this is a Tashe FF10T Oto Japan pen, so it is not quite a pocket pen. And this is next to a uh, Paper Mate Clear Point. Okie dokie. Alright, measurements. Let's do a writing sample. This is the Hong Dian N8. Okay. And we're going to do And the ink in this is diamine. Poinsettia. All right, now we're gonna do the Pierre Gustafson test. Famous Pierre Gustafson test is made so that when you are doing a flourish, you know that your pen's not gonna run out of ink in the middle of a flourish. I made it a half a page without it starving, so it did poop out right there. And I know I... Oh, it's because I don't have any ink. <laughs> Brilliant scientist. Don't notice. <laughs> You're in the train. What train are you in? I gotta tell you, this ink, this pen is really flowy, and um, you're gonna go through ink like crazy. I wish, I wish they'd have made it into a, into a, a piston with more ink capacity. I was really, I really thought it was gonna be a, a piston pen. Such a disappointment. So. Now that I have ink in here, give it a couple of shakes, and it's ready to go again. world-famous Pierre Gustafson test definitely gets passed. So, now I'm going to tell you what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen. Um, let's talk about the likes. I like the look. 
it's very beautiful. The uh, the price. Let's see. I if I had to do it all over again, I don't know that I would pay the price for this pen. Let me see, how much did I pay? No. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, the pen was $29.80, which is a really good price for the uh, the um, the beauty and the, the quality of this pen. So, uh, the price was good. It was uh, $29.80. And then with tax and shipping uh, I don't even know if there was any shipping cost it was a uh, free shipping the tax was two dollars and seventy six cents so the pen came out to thirty two dollars and fifty six cents and it has an ebonite feed so you know you're gonna have some really good flow with it and um, you could swap out the nib for another number six nib um, it is a round hole so it's not keyed which means that you have to find this will take a normal Yovo nib but it will not take a fountain pen revolution ultra flex nib because the diameter the the, the curvature of the nib is different so that is that is sad but the good news is is I got another I got two more on their way so Mwahaha. um okay uh, likes a beautiful price smooth well um ebonite feed Um, night, uh, keeps up with uh, Pierre Gustafson. Three checks for the Pierre Gustafson test. Um, what do I don't, what don't I like? Um, what do I not like about this fountain pen? Uh, it came scratchy. Almost unusably scratchy. So I have, I take my little emery board here and I use the, not the f one or the two or the three, but I use the four and I just do a couple of lines like this and then I smooth it out real good on the smoothing polish side, several strikes with that and then that makes it really buttery smooth so after smoothing it's excellent so came scratchy um, it's not a piston pin So I wanted it to be a piston pen so bad, but it, it's not. This would have made a killer pen if it was a piston. So Hong Dion, get on it. Use this beautiful Chatoyant resin. I mean, it's just, you could stare at it for hours. 
every time you look at it, there's like a different crevice with beautiful shimmery glitter in it. It's so beautiful. That's just fantastic. Anyway, um, it took a long time to get to me. Almost a half a month. Let's see, when did I get this? I got this on I bought this on the 10th of October and I got it yesterday. Uh, I got this on the, so the delivery took almost 20 days. Almost 20 days to deliver. That's quite a long time. Um. No box. I thought it was going to come in a box, but it didn't come in a box. I mean, you'd think such a beautiful pen would come in a box, but no. Um, I like the, um, I like the maple leaves. motif um the i the clip is unusable i mean you could get it in but it's going to be a struggle yeah no no it's not going in so the clip is basically unusable i hate clips like this they're just so tight there's no room for to put anything, you, just, you can't slip it on in. You gotta use your fingernail or some sort of device to get it away from the body just so you can slip something in there. That's not good. Um, let's see, what else, what else? I already said the flow is good. Three checks for the flow. Um, other than that, I can't really think of anything that I don't like or that I like about this fountain pen. So, what did you guys think of today's review? Are you thinking thoughts about getting a Maple Hongdian N8 fountain pen? Let me know in the comment section below. That is all for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the little bell. Make sure it's set to all so when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you and I will be back very soon with another video. So, take care until then. Have a great day. Okay, love you. Bye.